Okay. So another way, <laughs> I like to give out all these examples, um, but another way in which, you know, the static head question may also be posed um, would be a question like, you know, using that same information from the previous example, that water is being supplied to a building from the water main at 62 PSI. Pressure loss through the pipes is 32 PSI. The highest fixture needs, so this is kind of flipping this question a little bit, and rather than saying, you know, what what is the pressure, you know, of this fixture at um, 35 feet, what this is asking is that the highest fixture needs 21 PSI in order to operate. And so because of that, what is that maximum height the fixture can be above that water main? And so for step one, the first thing to do is to start um, with that water pressure, right? Figuring out that the water pressure starts at 62 PSI, and then the fixture at the top needs 21 PSI in order to operate. Um, and so the first step is to calculate the PSI that's actually available to it, you know, uh, within the system. And so with that, the formula is pressure loss, okay, equals the beginning pressure minus the pressure loss from the pipes minus the fixture PSI. So the pressure loss equals that beginning pressure which is that 62 PSI, okay, minus, so you're just going to be subtracting out that pressure loss from the pipes. So the pressure lost through the pipes as a given is 32 PSI. And then um, you're also subtracting out what the PSI of the fixture is, you know, what that needs. And so that's that 21. And so if I subtract 21 and 32 from 62, that leaves me with 9 PSI as that leftover pressure that's available. And so um, we're not done yet. There's still one more step to this. And since one PSI moves the water 2.3 feet, you know, kind of as that constant that we know, 9 PSI moves the water 20.3 seven feet. So that's basically 2.3 feet per PSI. So if we uh, multiply that by nine, we get 20.7 feet. And that's the highest the fixture can be with that pressure. Okay. Um, so again, figuring it out, figuring out how much PSI is available, and then multiplying it by uh, that 2.3 feet knowing that one PSI um, can move water 2.3 feet vertically. And so that's why 2.3 is multiplied by nine and gives us 20.7 feet. <laughs>